the fields can get really full of milk thistle. Um, like those little uh, pink things, they're wild. So I don't know, maybe like quite a number. Just choose a number. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's difficult to say. There's, there's milk thistles all over the place out there. So really, so did you hear what I was saying? we need another observational stage of where and when and how many milk thistle plants have we got. I'm sure. Because did, did, in this garden, yeah. we have currently zero milk thistles. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a lot. I eat them. I eat them. I eat all the thistles. The reason why we have why, why, zero why do we milk want them? thistle is because Charlie has eaten them. Look, Ooh. that's labour. It's labour. Why do we want them? Why do we want them? Um, we, to sell. Because we know that he... <laughs> to sell them. Okay, so with Sebastian, what's his name? Not we know Sebastian. that Joel... <laughs> Joel wants to sell the milk thistle. Right? Joel wants, he wants milk, milk thistle seeds. For milk. And he would like to make milk. Okay. So you use the seeds so exactly we, the same way as hemp seeds to turn them into milk. And we know that one plant yields, yields up to a quarter pound of fucking seeds. 190 per seeds. Plant, per but, plant. Yeah, but per one flower we get 190 seeds. Okay. So could you estimate how many flowers you think you might see a year? I don't know. We'd have to do a bit of a thing. But the, the, the garden has maybe uh, 100 in them. So if we were to get, uh, you know, 100 grams, grams per, plower, per, per flower, and there's 100... Well, there's a two kilos. It's a quarter pound no, per 100 plant. times uh, 100 is, uh, is 1,000, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 correct. So, 10, so we get 10 kilograms. 10 kilograms. So we'll have to ask him for his price. How much does he want per kilogram of milk thistle? And how much labour? Well, that's uh, going to be uh, like how much labour? Well, if we get the price, how much it is, we'll work out if it's worth the while for a couple mm. of people to go around picking them, right? Yeah. Excited. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Can you tell us a bit about your general plan that you that you've got going on so far? Tell yeah. us what like from the beginning, as if I was walking in here. What are you guys doing? So we're just busy going through our process now of the Go Sadin, which is uh, the whole design process, principles, and steps. Uh, we're busy writing it all down. So we've got our ideas and inspiration for the piece of land that we've got here at Arundel. Um, and some of our ideas that we started with was uh, running events on the land, uh, looking at seasonal dictating events and acts for like crops and seasonal crops, annual crops, things like that. Uh, things like harvest festivals and things which are going to happen every year in terms of like agriculture and being able to kind of uh, hone in on that and make the most out of that. Uh, another one of our ideas, well, I suppose fundamental underlying goals really that we feel is present here at Arundel is spreading a message and encouraging our networks um, towards a managed energy descent, i.e. increasing our green kind of footprint. Uh, also to produce income for this place, uh, to create a natural network and resource among people and plants and trees and to spread the permaculture awareness. From these ideas we kind of went into now like the survey stage where we've looked at the site, uh, taken stock of like plant matrixes, interviewed different um, people from Charles to uh, the client at Wild Foods, um, looked at kind of what we've got here on site, what we can do, uh, ways of kind of low effort income, so basically using low maintenance ways to try and provide income and try and kind of get some money for further projects and further in the Green Camp kind of uh, vision. Uh, we've then gone through all of the process of our research and what we've looked at, uh, natural common goals, visions, marketing potentials through this um, guy Joel at Wild Foods. Wild Food um, Cafe, yeah? Yep, and now we're busy looking at um, the research of some of the products that he's interested in that is actually a part of our plant matrix that we have here currently and kind of looking into viability of how much we can potentially yield for it. Okay, so uh, uh, Sebastian, Imogen, are there any things here which you think are particularly yummy and interesting that you'd want to uh, be eating and feasting on if it were to be a success? Anything you'd like to see work out? Uh, well, I look forward to having my first ever sea buckthorn beverage because <laughs> I've never had it, but it seems to be the wonder juice. Um, okay, cool. Uh, working with what we have is, with, with is most important, like uh, working with nettle, working with... Uh, all these things that is in abundance in a, in, in a garden and, and just go, we're going to try to process it and sell it and, and try to raise money for the, for the camp. So uh, that, that's the goal. That's okay. the idea. Bless it. Thank you so much for putting in this hard work into the camp, guys. Pleasure, man. This Thank is the you. way. It's the future, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Vegan permaculture. Yes. Right on. Jolly. Yeah? Hi. Hi. What you got going? <laughs> 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 I realised that feeling.
strings on. <laughs> um, we're... Yeah. Where's the we, where's the you are here, Doc? So we are here. This is where we are. So this is where the barns are down here. This is where we park the cars over here. And uh, we walk it across, and that's here. This is the Nature Spirit Sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is domes here. Yeah. This purple splotch. It's kind of like this opening, which we which when they took the trees out. Right. Yes. Cool. Thanks. Can you show us what you're doing? Um, please, 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 you absolute stars. Okay, thank you so much. That's actually a really, really beautiful effort. Okay, can you tell us a little bit, like if we were walking out from the public, what you're up to here? Well, we, we, um, we're busking it a little bit because we went out into the field and did an actual survey. As you can see, we created numbers and figures which have translated onto this. But it didn't seem to be uh, quite as accurate as, or it didn't have the same shapes, <laughs> integral shapes, as the uh, original from yourself. So we've done this to show what we did and maybe went wrong, and then we're going to go with your original plan, and then we're doing These are both the scale. Awesome. Um, the scale here I've used as a basic. One to two, one centimeter to two meters. Here we're using the scale as you have on your plan here. Awesome, thank you so much. And is there a uh, uh, species which you feel are going to be doing um, uh, better in this garden? Is there a sort of a plan you've got with this kind of things you want to grow or? We is have, there no but we've got it written down. We need to have a, another look through really after the Sorry about the tree night. thing. Yeah. No, that's fine. It, it kind of makes things easier, to be honest. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. The sea buckthorn is the obvious yeah. one. It's yeah. doing well. Because of the, the way that it's doing. Yeah. Uh, the, um, particularly in the um, hedge that we planted, the break, the wind break. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's a And um, also yeah. because of the potential yeah. cash flow. Yeah. Quite. It's lucrative. Okay, cool. And how are you finding? Uh, how are you finding Green Camp? Wonderful. Yeah, how are you nice time? <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Cool, really good time. Cool. Uh, cool. Well, it's really nice to have you guys here. Thank you. This is really fun. Okay, just shout if you want to tell anyone anything. I got this microphone. This is 95 degrees. 95. Okay. So, do you want to write a little 9 yeah. degree? This is a corner. <laughs> do your little thing, do your little measuring thing. Yeah, but it's, we can't measure a corner. What do you guys like uh, to eat? A slope. See, we like to one. eat things that we can grow. Yummy, yummy things. Yummy things. Um, raspberries, goji berries. We've been given a mission by Wild Cafe Dude to um, figure out how to make goji berries thrive here. Quite like a mission. That's cool. Have you been yeah. doing some research? What type of stuff have you been doing? No, actually, what we've been doing, focusing on, is the event side of things here. Okay. Because that's how we're going to get the resources that we need to build the monkey bars for the kids. Cool. So that's our main, probably, premise of the presentation, I suppose. Is my, is, it's all kind of organised around the monkey bars. Well, <laughs> <laughs> fundraising. <laughs> fundraising so that we can actually have money to do stuff on here. Making the most of the fact that we have this space for another year. I mean, the, you know, the covering and everything like that. We have really good parties in there. It's only 400 quid for another plastic layer, and we could get one that doesn't look like we're inside a wart. Mm, good. Which would be maybe... I like the wart thing. It's growing on you. It's growing. Attached. <laughs>
getting getting yeah. warty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got a list, list of ideas for little events. We have to figure out a little budget in terms of how much we charge people uh, to make sure we cover our costs and what we're left with. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about the Green Camp and uh, how you found it, honestly? Just like uh, if you could change anything or what bits you did like. Yeah. In Denmark, I'll stay here. I mean. Yeah. Mm, really like showering outdoors. Mm. Super nice. Um, like cuddling around the fire in the evenings. I think it's quite lovely for everyone to sleep in a room together. Not many of us do that. Mm, like the light in here. Cool. How about you, Chris? I've loved it. Yeah? Yeah. Good. I mean, the energy, energy's been great. People have been amazing. It's um, really special to see, like a group, of, like a group of young people coming together with similar aims, similar visions. You know, for the um, for the planet that we live in, on. And um, Sebastian's not that young. He's pretty old. He's well, falling, he's I'm, falling apart a bit. I mean, young in heart. Okay. <sighs> and. Um, yeah. <laughs> he's looking. He's looking terrible. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, no, the vibe's been great, and um, it's an ama amazingly exciting project, you know, to get involved in. And um, we're coming to the end of, I guess, like the two weeks of the permaculture permaculture design course, and um, and we're just in the stage of planning and finalising um, our vision. Of what we can, what we can do with this space. Cool. All right. Well, I look forward to hearing your ideas. Can you let us in on any of the ideas? There's a lot of talk about sea buckthorn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot of hype around there's, the buckthorn. There's, there's a lot of hype because we've we've already got someone to sell it to. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I think we need to like play to our strengths, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, but we like the idea of um, of seeing it, like just expanding on what works mm -hmm. and um, reaching out to local businesses reaching out to um, to, to cafes and and selling our produce so we, we have a form of income so that we can put our other plans into action fantastic Kiffman okay um, Fatty what do you think Secure, you know. Insecure, I had a, you're so I had, skinny and so I had, um, it's no, good. no, but I had a wash earlier because you um, told me I stank. <laughs> okay, great. Did She's you get getting it smelly? It. She's getting it. So that's good, really... that's good. You come to green, <gasps> you come to green. The next guest. <laughs> God, I'm in the forest and he's See making me wash. See if we can catch Jodie in the shower <laughs> <laughs> the next guest. <goodbye. laughs> Just peer pressure and bullying. Yeah. But, um, um, yeah, no, to be fair, I don't think I would have got in there if you hadn't uh, sorted it out a bit. Okay. That was really nice. Okay, good. I, I really enjoyed that. Good. Yeah, the shower's the most beautiful bit. That's the main reason. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm loving it. I don't okay. want to go. Okay. Is, uh, Sorry. I'm going to come live in London. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we have some uh, secrets up our sleeve, yeah, to keep you here. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going uh, to go for a walk around. Um, yeah, just tell if you want to record anything for your parents or something. Um, this is the teepee where everyone's sleeping. Um, let's change the filter. Other way. Yeah. So look, they got this like butane heater which they leave on all night long. Um, they've got a carbon monoxide sensor, and then these tuffets. Anyway, it's basically a spaceship. So this is like the tail coming to sleep in, and then that's like the middle bit, the grow dome, <laughs> where all the energy is. And then the front's kind of like where we get the food in and navigate our way through the crazy storms of angry energy which are shaking this place. 200 mile an hour, well 100 mile an hour storms, it can withhold because the geometry of the geodome is really good. But um, here we go and get there. Spaceships. Yeah. Oops. So, so what's after the 
worldwide being. Okay. Oh, is so it called worldwide being? Okay, so world. There's lunch. David's been making amazing lunch. And uh, we've been making some mushrooms. Oh shit. Welcome into the forest garden. Uh, this is the green camp. Home dome, grow dome, TP where people sleep. It's my little spaceship. It doesn't take off yet. It's just getting its, its seeds together, coming to maturity, growing, and then with electrostatic levitation and some black light power, we can uh, get ready-made grow domes with all lovely species matrices for the right climate and drop them off so we can start their community co-ops with grow domes. And um, Food, they can stop food forests and other green assets, run these eco village design curriculums, vegan permaculture design curriculums, start up green school, green village, green business park. That's a really ambitious thing, but I figured this is the way that we can live in symbiosis with all other forms of life. This is the sea buckthorn that's going to make us the money. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's uh, a little flower ends so there, those are all going to become berries. And uh, it's the yummy stuff. It's got literally each point there is going to be a, um, a bright orange berry. And they're full of all the things, the ingredients you need for RNA. I read it's impossible to imagine a sphere of medicine in which sea buckthorn is not beneficial. These are looking so healthy this year. I think they know we're talking about them. Apparently, as you foresee these plants, you Im imagine them, you envision them doing well the electromagnetic structures of your thoughts, visualizing the plants growing healthily and happily supports their growth as they are an electromagnetic structure and your mind and your thoughts are electromagnetic structures in resonance with that and just like singing in a chorus with people singing in the same note as you, oh you feel that lovely resonant rise, that double resonance that creates the non-self-symmetrizing resonance phenomena that causes the asymmetry with the quantum vacuum. And that's the definition of observable energy in our book. But now the black light power people are describing the electron not using quantum electrodynamics theory, not using quantum theory, but using classical physics. And with that, they can take a hydrogen atom and make it into a hydrino. And uh, that's like dark matter, black matter. <laughs> And it releases energy as a lot of light. So you harvest that energy with uh, PV, photovoltaics, but CPV, con concentrated photovoltaics, like the ones you get in those solar farms. But, um, uh, yeah, that uh, have lots of mirrors pointing up to one tower. And uh, that's where we're at. Here's a fig tree, some Russian comfrey, some Japanese daylilies. Got like 250 different um, types of plants here. So in the middle, we've got the nature spirit sanctuary, and then we've got concentric circular beds radiating outwards from the nature spirit sanctuary. And um, as everything grows more and more, like those raspberries there, we pull up the suckering still, uh, the, the roots go underneath and send up a, 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 a another plant, st stoloniferous suckering uh, plants and we, we, we start a new bed radiating outwards and outwards and yeah we're building up a genetic library a living library so that we can start more forest gardens more green camps and this is a social franchise we want to regenerate community environment and uh, local cooperative economy which is basically community uh, but what you need is those ethics the principles of ahimsa of harmlessness and uh, Hopefully we can get some of these radiant energy technologies to um, sell power to the grid and put a lot of money in the cooperative fund. We work through the backlog with those principles of harmlessness. Yeah, that's the job done. Then it's just delighting in nature, drinking the water, eating the food, practicing the Dharma. Um, maybe those hardships 
that we all know so well are actually much better for us to practice that. Maybe we'll just become lazy dewas again, live in the heavenly realms before we have to come down to learn <laughs> Anicca impermanence. <laughs> Check it out, here's the shower. This is, uh, you can come and shower. And this is the loo. There's a little bathtub over there, I don't know if you can see. This is the loo. It's just uh, a long drop and some wood chips you chuck in behind you when you're finished. You don't have to be so quick. Here you go, you can see. Okay, cool guys. Thanks for stopping in. Let's see how everyone's doing. Now we're going to have more Green Camp courses. Is there a... Oh. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Chang. Sorry my sense of humor was a bit rude in those things. I, I, I'm only going to use some of the imagery. I'm not going to use any of the sound site. I'm only just teasing. Um, sorry, yeah? we're being weird mean, but you're obviously the skinniest person you've seen in the whole wide world. I'm um, really trying to deal with it by being mean to you. my sense of humor. That's what they do, don't they? You're horrible to the ones that you think are so beautiful. In preschool when you're three. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm not very into it. Or maybe you know what I mean? There are two different things. Yeah, you've got to get some like so I think there's two different types of events that we can focus on. There's the ones that we take on ourselves and then there's uh, mm -hmm. as individuals and then there's the ones where we 